Initiative with uh, RTR Garrett. So we're going to uh, shoot this little area here in base coat that's all been final sanded, cleaned up, wiped down, spotless, no fingerprints, no human oil, no nothing. Um, so we're going to see what happens. As you can see, I previously shot some stuff on there, but I had a young fellow over here learning automotive and body work, and so I put him to work. I said, scuff it up, get it ready for painting. So he did, did a beautiful job on it. And uh, his name is Dylan, shout out to Dylan. Good job. And a uh, 15 year old kid wants to learn how to do everything. So I'm gonna teach him everything I know to do. And then hopefully somebody else will step in there and bring him the rest of the way home. But kid wants to be an engineer or an automotive mechanic or something to do with fixing stuff. Good kid. So what better place to learn than here at the uh, the Chief's Garage with RTR gearheads. Anyway, uh, we're gonna put it in base, see what it looks like. Of course, base means no gloss. And if you look at this one up here, coming around to you now, sorry about the walk around here. That's what base looks like. See, there's no gloss on it at all. So for those of you who don't know, somebody says they're gonna base the paint, they're gonna put paint on it that has no gloss. You might see a little sheen on it from the light reflection but that's all basically flat, flat green. And that's uh, that's gonna be ready for clear coat anytime I want to. And when I put the clear coat on, of course it's gonna be all shiny and all that, but I like it. I'll eventually get to this one, but I wanna get this one done first so I can move on with uh, the other projects. Okay, so, I we did a little bit of shooting, not a whole bunch, did a little bit of taping off right there and a little bit up on let me see that area right across there um yeah no there's no overspray on it um so what i did um of course we had to clean it wipe it down sand it prep it and all that stuff so i'm uh, using ppg paint and uh that's your base coat and when that tacks up really got uh you know good and it's ready for another coat i'll probably give it <clears throat> two maybe three coats and then we'll shoot that with clear coat uh, now, a friend of mine is going to be doing everything from here back to include the fenders that you saw over there, that guy right there. Um, but I have to do all the prep work. So, hey, guys, here's the thing. When you got a buddy, a buddy, a buddy of yours or a, a, a girl that you know, whoever does pot, body work um, and they say, oh, I'll do it for, you know, 400 bucks. You better run because the amount of product alone just to do the body work and the time consumed, and then he's gonna paint it for that kind of money. Sounds to me like you've got a Kmart rattle can special coming your way. And I'm not saying you can't do that, but uh, to get the vehicle right and to set it straight and to make it look good, you want the proper preparation, you want the right materials. Uh, you wanna pay somebody who knows what they're doing. Can I paint? I sure can. Will I paint this? I sure won't, um, because I got a guy who does concourse work and, uh, you know, it's going to cost me a, a, a bit of money. But you know what? I've learned how to do body work. I've learned how to do all the fill work. Uh, yeah, it's just a wonderful thing to learn to do this stuff. You, know, you appreciate guys who do paint and body a hundred times more because it's a real artwork. Um, but yeah, here it is looking good. So you can see where I painted there. And so there's your base coat from here on over. Yeah. And uh, take a look at that. Uh, be the right inner fender well for the 59 apache um and if it looks like it's wet well it is and it isn't meaning if you get a proper finish and proper sand on this you get a nice high gloss finish and this will be on the inside you won't see it but as you can see the reflection like there see that see your hand it's like glass and that's what proper surface preparation will do for you um I tried a couple different things. Uh, my mentor, Josh, uh, would encourage me to do the same thing. Um, but there's a, a tried and proven way of doing this. And I think I came out okay. It's nice and wet and sticky looking, but uh, it's, actually, uh, it's actually almost dry and I love it. And that's gonna go on the inside. So when you pop open the hood, you see this nice glossy olive drab green to match the outside of the truck, which is again going to be, well, I say olive drab, it's not olive drab, it's commando green, it's a Chrysler color, like I said, but it'll be color core, meaning solid color all the way through in and out. 
the firewall proper will be still black because um, I'm I'm just not going to go in there and remove everything to get in there and paint it. Just not. I'll leave it the way it is. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Came out good. And this is natural light you're looking at. So this is what you'll be looking like uh, in the sunlight. All right. Yeah. So here we are. Got this all cut in. The weather out here is just stupid warm today. Can't pick a better day than now. Just get in there and get it done. All scrubbed up, clean, blah, blah, blah. Good to go. That's all cut in with a base coat. Um, got this little spot here. That's got, it uh, looks to me like somebody slipped with a grinder at one time of the day or nothing or something. Don't know. But I taped over because I'm going to have to go back and scuff that up and put some glazing putty on it. And I have some dolphin finishing putty. Uh, really good stuff. Um, no, I don't use that little uh, 3M turquoise blue stuff. I use actual glazing compounds so you can actually get a, a proper finish on it. So you can get it looking like this, nice and flat. So I missed this one. Um, I'm, I've seen where at one point I put some in there, but I didn't go back and, and finish that. Uh, and then scanning over here, I got the other fender well painted and hanging up and it's tacking up. You can see the one on the right's nice and glossy. The one on the left, I'll give that a day or two to dry up real good, then we'll scuff it and we'll shoot that. Uh, I'll probably have to do that inside because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna have another nice day like this. Anyway, hey, guys, appreciate you watching.